All right, man. Young Buck says he have to file for bankruptcy. All right. Um, I believe I heard him say. Uh, I believe I heard him say that Fifty Cent forced him into bankruptcy. All right. Um, remember he was dropping all them. Uh, he was dropping all them diss tracks, and. Uh, and uh, 50 Cent was taking them down. The story of Foofy and I got, I must say, them joints was fire, you know. And I think he even got to a point where Young Buck even said that he was down to celebrity box him in one of these interviews of lately. He said he was down to, to box 50 Cent. He said, yeah, I might get knocked out, but, you know, I might knock him out too. You know, like I said before, man, you know, he got kids and everything you're trying to fend for, dude. He's been trolling you. And 50 Cent make you, you know, want to put a burner to his dome. But sometimes you just got to be somebody at their own game, man. As simple as that, bro. But, you know, when you got popular opinion and, you know, uh, he doing uh, power, you know, people like him. He putting black people on, even though he even make fun of his, you know, people that his black people that he uh, that he employs, bro. Cracking on them and stuff of that nature, bro. Like I said before, man, it's good that he put Monique back in rotation with leg to Lee Daniels. I think it was Lee Daniels or whoever it was putting her back in rotation. Like, dope. Super dope. But at the end of the day, bro, 50 Cent do a lot of cornball gossip shit, dude. And that's a, and that's a fact. He do a lot of cornball female gossiping, bro. You know. And, you know, you sitting there talking about banks, talking about uh, Leo in your book and stuff. Man, come on. What type of rapper nigga write a book talking about uh, niggas he used to eat with or used to help eat? eat? You know what I'm saying? Who does that, bro? So you just got to look. He cornball. At the end of the day, young buck got to look at it. He did get a dude an opportunity. But then again, you know, them first albums they got was hot. And all of a sudden, nobody... Produced a respectable, a respectable second album on the G Unit. Come on, and he said a lot of them niggas was writing for was, was writing for Fifty. He said a lot of these, a lot of these dudes say it's writing for Fifty. They didn't get credit, man. Just let that be a story. If you write something, make sure you get credited for it, or make sure you get a nice little bag for it before you clear anything, or before you let them use anything. No matter how cool you seem, that's just that's the game. That's the game, bro. Cause niggas will turn around and do you dirty. You know, people glance over this line that Nipsey Hussle's had. He said, "Black owners in this game is they they powerful racists." He said that. You got to listen. I went over a lot of people's head. He said, "Black owners in the, in this game is some powerful racists." Come on. And Fifty Cent, one of them dudes, bro. You want he one of them dudes, bro. Even though he employ a lot of black people, he hurt a lot of black people. But then come back and uh, uh, the people make him apologize to Madonna and all this type of stuff, man. Come on. But hey, people choose to see what they want to see, bro. You know, just to stay relevant if somebody calls. You know, he he going to be one of them dudes that 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 uh, he going to die alone. What's that movie by uh, uh, DMX, Never Die Alone? <laughs> He gonna die a lonely nigga because niggas only around him for money and status. That girl only around him for money. The 50 cent only had 50 cent. That Cuban girl be nowhere around. That's a fact. But it says young buck 50 cent forced me to bankruptcy. He goes in, goes on. It's tricky, he says legal war still raging. He said young buck claims that 50 cent continues trying to block him from dropping new music and goes as far as to say 50 was the reason he filed bankruptcy. You gotta see how Buck opened up. Open up on Tricky with Raquel Harper podcast, ripping the OG and the pal for a slow ongoing legal recording issues between them. But Young Bugs unit uh, might as well stand for greed because 50 Cent fired off a cease and desist letter stopping him from making music that forced uh, Bug to find a loophole through it. He said, quote, he says he filed for bankruptcy to discharge all debts, including money. 50 Cent claims he still owes. Uh, quick hip hop history lesson in the club rapper. Uh, formed G Unit with Tony A. Lloyd Banks and Buck back in 1999, but since uh, then their relationship has gone south so much so that Buck claims 50 Cent even prevented him from working on his last album, which would have allowed Buck to wipe his hands clean of the contract. 
He says, without the bankruptcy filing, he still will be sidelined. He said, quote, as far as uh, ironing out things, Young Buck says he doesn't want to have to sue 50 and end up in a lengthy court battle. Instead, he prefer to squash all of it with a man-to-man -man combo, you know, mono mono combo. He said, regardless, the rapper says he's down to do things the easy way or the hard way. We reached out to 50 Cent for a side of the story. No word, no, uh, so far, no word back. Like I said before, cornball. Cornball. He never wanted them niggas to be bigger than him. And them niggas was writing for him. That hook on in the club, Banks wrote that. That was Banks' line. You know, that's Banks' line, bro. That's just simple as it. You can't be mentored. You can't work under somebody, work with somebody who don't want you to be big as you will. You should be. Simple, simple as that. You know, all three of them niggas, man. You know, bank like Yayo still like around, I guess, but you know, he ain't put Yayo in power, none of that shit, bro. It's Yayo credit on any show. That nigga's a greedy dude. But you know, some of the shit he went through in his life is that's the reason, that's the reason the way he is. Life can turn you into that. But at the end of the day, if you got a group, bro, you know, you the leader of the pack, you supposed to make sure everybody eating, dude. Simple as that, bro. You know, every relationship, you the goal is to find at least to find people and help them, you know, lead them better than what you found them. You know, no matter how soft it was. He says, young bud might have to uh, forfeit jewelry, cars, bankruptcy case after social media posts show potential assets. He says, young bud bankruptcy case still going on. All hip hop reports at the Nashville uh, rapper might have to forfeit some of his assets in order to pay off his creditors, which include 50 cent. These items include gold teeth caps, gold chains, 615. Cash Real Records, gold, gold and Diamond Chain, 4F150, Rolls Royce, and motorcycle and donations received through Cash App. It says court documents obtained by the outlet show that Buck will uh, have to appear again before a judge on May 6th where he will be questioned under oath about assets he could be concealing. This items came across the creditor's radar due to Buck posting on social media. He has to uh, hand over ownership documents for the aforementioned items by April 29th, and that in addition to 5th. Buck also owes the IRS and the mother of his kids. So there you go. He he previously filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy in January 2020 in order to sidestep his record deal with GM. If he sent alleged that Buck not only didn't make good on a few albums, he contractually owed GM on it, uh, owed GM on it but Fifth also loaned Buck 250000 At the time, the case trustees accused Buck of withholding hundreds of thousands of dollars that he earned from his publishing company. But and the trustee settled their case and he started paying 550 per month until they finalized the deal. He said earlier this week, Buck said he blames 50 for going through bankruptcy and 50 stopped me from being able to make any kind of money. And like I said before, man, you gotta watch who you trust. You gotta watch who you trust. You know, what type of black man stop another black man and talking about come on, you know, you owe it. Well, let them nigga let them complete his damn fucking albums. Let him that rap and let him crap, and you know, you get the money, then he go. Like I said before, man. You know, these black, these black musicians, dog, they do they black people in the music industry worse than worse than the others. At least you expect the knife you back from the others. You know. You know, at least it's smart. <laughs> you know, you already know that I know they're gonna try to play me, you know, I'm prepared for it. Or if I'm, you know, if I could try to stop it, I'd try to stop it. You know, but this is it is what that's what it is. And then you don't expect your, your brother that look like you to do to do you like that, bro. You don't expect that. You know, but as I said before, man, black owners in this game is a powerful racist. There you go. You know, mad about what, bro? Let them make the albums, y'all move on. You just choke holding them. I said before, I, I I watch niggas harder than I watch other people. Yup. Trust none of y'all out there in the game, bro. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Venmo, PayPal, Instagram. I said that already. 
Cash App, you know, by hitting the link tree link in the description. All is there if you want to donate. Cash App, Venmo, CJ Good three on three, roll at the bottom of the screen. All that's in the description too. PayPal link there, but we go to the link tree, everything there. Check out the music and the playlist. Let me know what's in the comments.